Why hello everybody, today I'm inside a forest and I plan to do LSD. I've probably prefaced this video with some type of an introduction about what I plan to do, but in the next 20 to 30 minutes I intend to take about 150 micrograms of LSD for the first time. I've previously done psilocybin mushrooms and other forms of psychedelics, but I've never had an acid trip. And so 150 micrograms of LSD, I'm going to attempt to record it and also jot down my notes during it. So either this is going to turn into a madman um, attempting to explain things on camera, I will get no video footage whatsoever, or it's going to be a great time. So stick along for the journey and let's see how it goes. All right, well, I'm just about prepared to take my LSD. I would say that on the nervousness scale, I'm about a 6 out of 10. There are some Canadians nearby, but I'm sure they won't mind. I have my trip sitter across from me. I have a tent to retreat to, and I have the glory of nature all around me. And so I think I'm going to try to get as much video as I can, and uh, maybe I'll actually just record myself doing it here. Well, here we go. I believe I applied it correctly, and now we're just going to wait. Well, everybody, I've made the naive decision to take two tabs of acid, summing to 300 micrograms, and it's likely because I bought bad acid, or at least that's what I'm worried about at the moment. This will remain to be seen, but here we go. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have really committed to this experience now. I really regret this. <laughs> so I'm about 40, 30 minutes into the experience. I would be lying if I said things were not starting to feel a little bit peculiar. I'm actually noticing it warp as I'm speaking. So definitely the effects are kicking in and definitely I'm gonna have something to say about this. It's definitely starting with a profound stomach cramp sort of feeling. And I didn't eat breakfast, but it's not the didn't eat breakfast feeling. It's a little stranger than that. I feel as though I can, I can hear very well I feel like I can hear freaking a pin drop from a mile away, basically. I'm making this recording not quite sure how long in. I'm shivering. Apparently my friend is not cold at all. I literally, like, my teeth are chattering. Um, feeling very cold. Feels like a strong wind is blowing. Um, I'm definitely starting to notice those, um, those traditional tracers that people are talking about, where it seems as though the lines between things are becoming somewhat... Yeah somewhat less defined. That's pretty interesting. It's all centered around this original nauseous feeling in my stomach. It's actually building in strength as I speak. Wow. I may have jumped onto a ship I was not prepared for. I'm also starting to notice it's even hard to speak because I feel like a like a nauseous sleepy sort of feeling. It's it's very strange. My teeth... Your teeth aren't shattered, man? No. <laughs> Becoming extremely perceptive to light. Very perceptive to light. Feels like I'm just like, oh, my whole body is just shaking at this point. Wow. I am in complete shivers. Maybe my body just knows what's about to happen to it. That's why. <laughs> Now, I have no idea how this video is going to find you in the course of editing, but I am extremely under the influence of these drugs right now. I basically have just been in my tent for about, who knows, two hours, an hour, um, of just repeated kaleidoscopic fractalization, ridiculous geometry images just breaking in inside each other and then re-articulating back out and all of that. And so I'm writing this in a moment of lucidity at the moment. Um, time is, I'm experiencing extreme temporal shift, is that the word? Um, my reference points and my time points are jumping all over. I'm feeling as though I'm entering a timeline from many different positions all at once. I have had to try probably five times, so in each of those times I'm just thrown into a kaleidoscope, kaleidoscoping world of um, geometry and ridiculous fractalization, so at the moment, I guess what I can speak for, as I'm literally very much in the middle of this experience, is ridiculous shaking. I have been, my teeth have been chattering since the very beginning. Um, uh, yep, everything's okay. Uh, obviously, it seems as though many things are moving, a lot of visual distortions, a lot of sensory and other distortions. 
I actually just got a message from my friend Sam who said, are you on acid yet? Yes, Sam, I'm very much on acid. I'm very much on acid and I'm trying not to lose my mind in the middle of this forest right now. <laughs> Two hours into this experience, I think that's my my relative point. I, um, I've been inside the tent, repeated, like I said, lost in ridiculous fractalization, imbued with both um, verbal meaning, visual meaning, um, and many other forms of meaning imbued in the fractalization. Wow. Uh, as I'm writing this, just extreme distortions and it's exactly what, what those things look like, exactly what those, uh, those effect videos look like. It looks like I'm on an app myself right now. In fact, I'm struggling to even find a place to, to look into the camera. Well, now I'm Loop Boy. I've, as I keep pressing record and unrecord on this video camera, I've become stuck in my own micro loop of actually watching myself record this. And so this may have been an unintended error, but now I can't stop focusing on myself, giving myself visual feedback. So as I'm sitting here trying to elucidate out some of my experience as I go through these different journeys, we've been able to identify that the first hour or so was probably the nausea stage, dealing with it in the tent and things like that. And now we're probably headed up towards the mountain. And I have my friend here that's going to ride the mountain with me because as I'm saying this, I literally am having trouble seeing my own face. So that's the thing. Yeah, it's probably not a good thing that as I'm saying this, I'm watching myself move in and out of reality simultaneously. Not good, right? The fact that ugh, I just saw 30 other possible positions that my hand could have been in in any other millisecond during that entire sequence, probably not, probably not the best, right? Here's a line of thinking. Um, this was arrogant. I cannot believe that I thought that I'd be able to come out here and rock this trip going on with no problems. That there'd be nothing wrong with me. And as I'm saying this, I'm seeing basically, you know, that five-dimensional clown looking back at me. Are you able to look at my phone screen and not look like you're tripping out? Like, I... Hell yeah, that's all you. Well... Okay, well, clearly I am, I'm tripping at this point. I'm seeing what looks to be literally a complete layover of, like, a tapestry. Like, a tapestry background over what I'm seeing right now with intricate, um... It looks like religious, like mosaic type artwork. I'm literally seeing this. I, this is why I don't know if this is an app or like a, a bleed over effect or something, but yeah, it, it's very clearly like some type of like religious mosaic, um, like glass window type of um, art. Yeah. Wow, that is, I mean, at this point, is this real? Okay, I guess I, all I can do is keep telling you exactly what I'm seeing, which is what looks to be like a, a tapestry-like background developing behind me of a complete image of some sort. I'd... Okay, it... So I guess what must be happening is literally, I guess, my brain glitching out and showing me what looks to be some type of four-dimensional room. Just picture the dimensions right here of a tree and other pillars like that picture that they are now actual pillars this is fascinating i wish i could screenshot this but it's my own subjective view now perhaps this is just because more kicked in i'm not sure but extremely powerful my my background is rapidly dematerializing and materializing as i speak and that's, you can imagine, a bit uncomfortable. But we're going to be fine. They, are, they seem to be literal images, like religious type images. Not, I'm not a creatively oriented person, and I don't have any images that I believe that I just saw um, before this. But, like, for example, like if I could screenshot this, like my vision, I'm seeing like a literal image, like not some metaphorical thing. Um, did not anticipate this. Definitely, I'm on acid. Um, this is going to make me fundamentally under <laughs> question some 
freaking major assumptions. Um, wow. It seems to be this religious archetypal imagery um, overlaying in, in, in uh, actually also I should mention uh, Technicolor. It seems to be like rapidly um, shifting the entire gradient of colors. And actually as the camera just focused there, triggered a very amazing kaleidoscopic effect in my in my vision um, behind me so it kind of looked like overlaid on overlaid behind my head was just basically uh, fractal images of the trees it's causing an extreme breakdown in consistency like it seems as though from my perspective when I'm seeing this now when it's recording it seems as though I'm basically have a green screen behind me that's completely shifting yet I'm right here and that's very strange um, does not seem to make any sense at all um, I can only say that that's due to some perception changes or something um, hopefully not something fundamental to our metaphysics because yet again seeing complex uh, it's very fascinating okay so it's complex um, layered tile like mosaic um, artwork that substitutes for all the other things that are in your your field of view so like that tree basically can dissolve into whatever would substitute that's place in terms of like a full artwork now I'm very aware that I am a person in the woods on acid right now telling you what it's like to be a person in the woods on acid but what I didn't anticipate about being a person in the woods on acid is around our Maybe it's hour three, I'm, I'm not recording, my friend is. Um, this consistent layout of patterned mosaic is the best I could say, like artwork that's like overlaying everything. It's, it's, it's actually great. It, it looks actually amazing. Like it looks kind of like exactly like you would like, if you imagine images of, like, so I guess maybe I'm actually running into, this may be a literal visual manifestation of what I perceive as divine? That's absolutely fascinating. Very strange subjective effect. It... It actually, strangely enough, it's it, it contains several like I, I'm just gonna say it like Virgin Mary like images. Like I don't know why I'm not a religious. Like I understand religious imagery. This is definitely something unique to to the acid experience. This is something that I never experienced on Salaspi Cubenzis, where basically I have a static hallucination that. I guess is using what your mind is mapping as objects. I'm seeing this archetypal, what looks like religious like imagery that is ageless. It could have been from any time. Absolutely striking to me, who's somebody who's not a visual hallucinator usually. A complete substitution and dematerialization of all objects that seem to be not focused directly in perspective. It seems that the moment you shift away perspective from it, I mean guys, I'm not gonna lie, it seems a lot like, well actually none of that seemed very earth-like at all, or video game-like, but now I'm basically seeing the trees behind me currently regrow their limbs over and over and over again. Um, it looks very strange, um, but it's what I am currently seeing. I'm currently seeing that right there. Looks to me. Oh, yep, it just grew again. Okay, so basically, <laughs> it's hard to know what the what the hallucination is and what's actually uh, real. It's this very consistent. basically depixelization of everything behind me. Currently I'm experiencing extreme um, 
reality dissolution. And behind me, I'm actually, okay, so from my perspective, it actually seems as though, well, even more, this will prove to you that I'm on acid. It seemed as though, well, yep, all right, well, the scenery basically is changing a lot. Let's say that. Changing quite a bit. I've not been able to maintain this level of control on um, psychedelic mushrooms. I'm usually at this point either feeling very nauseous or just worshipping the ground or something, something strange like that. But this is much more unsettling for somebody like me because it's, I guess, the type of thing that would lead to somebody seeming like <laughs> they're crazy. If this is how fundamentally weird the world is, then I'm not worried about anything because it, it, if it's it, if, okay, here's what here's the deal. When I turn on my camera later and I go home and I'm not on acid, if I see this as my fucking background still, if I still see this, I'm literally gonna fucking <laughs> like be like okay, okay, dude, you broke life. I keep having all these archetypal views of the of the Virgin Mary. Like, what the fuck? This is some weird shit. What were these Christians up to? What were these Christians up to? Dude, I'm about to go on some Alex Jones shit. It's over. Dude, I'm literally about to join InfoWars because I'm pissed right now. Okay, so what time is it? It is 5 or 4.50. It is 4.50. I took the acid at what time? About 12. About 12, and I naively took 300 micrograms instead of 150 after being unsatisfied roughly five minutes after taking my acid and not feeling like it was hitting enough, <laughs> which a quick Google told me that I should have waited a little longer. Uh, so now here I am. Well, basically now that tapestry that I've been trying to describe... <laughs> Um, that's been behind me, I'm now seeing it in my field everywhere. So basically I'm seeing complex interwoven geometry take place between any, any two points, basically. So I'm seeing it absolutely everywhere. Um, behind me currently what I'm seeing is complex snake-like um, folding in and folding out imagery. Now I'm seeing what looks like Mayan architecture. I'm basically seeing... Um, complex articulated rotating geometry between every single thing all i have to say is whoever's in charge of the simulation you're doing good work you're building good good architecture um also yeah if you have done acid go ahead and let me know what this tapestry like thing you keep seeing is because it, it's very great i could pretty much just look at it all day Okay, I'm about seven and a half hours in on this uh, experience, having a decrease in visuals and starting to have a much better sense of uh, grounding to the real world. Um, I guess I'll report if anything happens significantly tonight, but I don't expect so, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Well, despite a pretty wild thunderstorm late last night, we survived and made it to the morning, so I'm here safe and sound and no longer seeing a tapestry interwoven into the background of my view. Thanks for watching this video. I had a good time making it, and I hope you had a good time watching it. If you liked it, leave a like and subscribe for some support, and I'll see you later.